today as in 1878. North Carolina stands on the right side of history. I cannot imagine a more effective leader or a stronger voice for justice in North Carolina than Chief Justice Sherry Hughes. She is the right person at the right time, and it is such an important time. This is an historic moment for our state. We have change. We have a court more diverse than I ever thought I would see in my lifetime. I have the pleasure of serving as a law clerk here at the Supreme Court for Associate Justice Barbara Jackson. As the appellate attorneys and law clerks settled into the courtroom each time the court heard arguments, I would have a few quiet moments to just take it all in. I remember looking around at the portraits of the former Chief Justices, and I quickly realized that most of them looked quite similar, not only because of their race, but also because of their gender. Chief Justice Beasley is the fourth woman and the second African American to lead this court. So today, as I walked into this courtroom, it hit me that the view is about to change. I want to extend my sincere congratulations to the Honorable Chair Beasley. The Chief Justice designate brings a wealth of experience and a core set of values to this post. She is committed to making North Carolina better and like so many North Carolinians, I look forward to her leadership of the judicial branch in pursuit of justice and fairness for all. I'm grateful to Chief Justice Beasley and all of the esteemed members of our North Carolina Supreme Court, as well as your clerks and your staff for the work you do. Chief Justice Beasley, thank you for your willingness to take on this new responsibility on behalf of the people of North Carolina. And on this historic day, I'm honored to now present you to the court and take your oath of office. Today is really a day of hope. It's a day of hope for justice, really for all of us. Hope for accessibility to the processes that we have in our justice system and to the practices in our justice system and most importantly, to treat everybody, everybody fairly, regardless of what matter they bring before the courts. Justice is a bedrock for all of us, regardless of where we live, regardless of where our experiences take us, regardless of our, where our stations in life might be. Justice is central to finding answers and solutions to the things that ail us in our lives. 